mean about these people, alright? Bradley, are you having fun? Brad, are you having fun? Woo! My friend Brad's here, he's a producer on Jimmy Kimmel Live. Yeah. Are you having fun? He told me he saw he told me he saw the Joe Urell uh, Brad Williams battle online and he wanted to come out to roast. Yeah. Yeah, he waited. Yeah, he waited three weeks after the writer strike when he was unemployed. Awesome. Yeah, I get it. I get nothing to do. I get it. Finally made it here. Congratulations. Welcome. That's good. Yeah. Just kidding. It's good to see you again. Keep it going. Jake, Jimmy came alive, right? Yeah. 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 We have friends on there. We got uh, we got Jesse Joyce. You got Rory uh, Alvarez, right? A lot of good friends over there. Yeah, good stuff. Great show too. Alright, who we got next? Oh, two more sure. battles. We got two more battles. This next one's really fun. Uh, this guy's from Boston, the most racist city in America. They go for Matt Dan, everybody. Yeah. 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 What up, man? How you doing? I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. You put a hat on this time so we can really hate you? I like <laughs> Anyway, uh, when well, you're not watching the town, um, <laughs> <laughs> you like to battle to the white people, but, uh, why are you battling this event? Are you calling me out? Are you coming back down? It's fucking dangerous. This guy's one and no on this, alright? He's never, he's never lost. But he's battling the king right now. Seven and five, he's one of those Chilean miners, so you know he's a survivor. Yeah. <laughs> Make love for Leo Savage. Yeah! Up, brother, good to yeah. see you, man. Uh, you're battling this guy. You called him out? Oh, yeah. Why? I did. You know, it's, uh, I saw him battling him last time, and he's okay, so I just want to make sure he paid for all the white, Damn right you are! Yeah. 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 Leo is a lethal weapon. He's got a second degree black belt in Taekwondo and a zero degree in all of education. He's as dangerous as a monkey with a machine gun. Okay. <laughs> Language do you speak? Okay. Uh, <laughs> three? <laughs> Mongolian and what else? Okay. Uh, <laughs> my friend here, he looked like a very kind child molester. <laughs> he looked he look like he will rent the shit the share out of your kids. <laughs> But then he will feel sorry about it. He will be like, oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, so good. I'm so sorry. So good. Leo is trilingual. He speaks Russian, Spanish, and English, which means we have the luxury of struggling to understand what he's trying to say in three different languages. I don't speak to him. <laughs> we never talk about it. Don't lie. <laughs> fucking white people lying, lying, lying. Fucking my fucking table and check the My friend here, he used to be a drug addict with all the hard drugs, right? He stopped it. Now he's California sober, right? Bullshit. <laughs> but just, just for fun and for the old sake. He, he still suck a dick, just for fun, not for drugs, just for fun. <laughs> Insults with the lead singer of System of a Down Syndrome. <laughs> Leo, you look like a Chilean Ted Kaczynski, the Unabomber, but instead of mailing your bombs, you like to deliver them in person with a microphone. <laughs> 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 
Also, need person to your wife. Okay. Um. <laughs> I bump. Okay. Okay. That was a bad one. Sorry. <laughs> Fat white people. No, 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 Let's do it. Uh, my friend here, he lost a lot of weight the last couple of years. Also, he lost the beard. Just to look different, to don't get cut after storm in the Capitol. <laughs> because Leo's Chilean, but Matt looks like he goes fishing for sea bass. <laughs> Am I the only one who eats an expensive restaurant? Yeah. That, was, that was the least of the fuck. Yes, you are. Am I trying to his boyfriend down and talk about Chilean sea bass? <laughs> You should say five white people out there that will kill you. Five white people. Yeah! Five white people! Five white people! It was a lot of fun. You guys were uh, a fun team to watch. But uh, Matt, yeah, you know, yeah, had some nice moments. But I don't think there's any doubt that Leo won that battle. Yeah. Woo! Pat Bar. Uh, that was great. Matt, you look like if Reno 911 had an undercover cop. <laughs> You look like Ted Lasso if the show was set like with an Argentinian team. Uh, somehow. And, and Matt, lastly, I appreciate you sticking to your Boston roots because your shit was a marathon and it ended in a bombing. Yeah! Thank you, thank you. I'm very mean. Um, Leo! RBO Weekly, every Tuesday on YouTube, check that out. Leo, Leo, on the other hand, I've seen Leo battle a bunch, and a lot of times he has the vibe of like, you know when the high school basketball team puts in the special needs kid to make a layup with like 10 seconds left? Except tonight he was in the starting lineup and just yamming on motherfuckers. Like, he belonged on that stage, his shit was uh, incredible, it was super funny, and I disagree, when he stopped having jokes, it somehow got better. Um, yeah, and this was uh, a real. He put on a clinic tonight. I gotta give it to Leo. Great. Frank, Frank, you completely missed the battle. Who do you think won? Uh, well, the guy who definitely sells oranges for three dollars. Uh, <laughs> and then the other guy sells the organic ones with their little more chocolate. I think you're right. I listened to that right. racism, and you guys ate that shit up. <laughs> <laughs> as long as we say fuck Whitey every 15 years. Yeah! <laughs> That's true, actually. All right. um, anyway, who do you guys like? Unemployed Chris Pine? <laughs> I don't like you very much, Maddie. Or Leo Savandra. Yeah! <laughs> Slightly bit more. Both bring it out. Leo Savandra! <laughs> Yeah, make more of me. And for a 
excited. This is exciting. Folks, Smash from Hawaii. Stan, Israeli, we love him. Say it loud. For Evan Warren. Yeah! Honestly, this is the only way I get to hang out with you. Aww. Aww. Me too. <laughs> All right, we got to stop looking. Look at the stage. You're very excited. Got to show us at the ice house right now. Uh, oh, wow. He's blowing up everywhere. Make it loud. For cocaine. Ancestry.com. Yeah. Yeah. Evan Warner is so gross that even his initials are ew. Speaking of family, Bear actually has two twin sisters. He has no idea which one is the mother of his child. <laughs> Really good one though, Scooby Doo and Faggy. <laughs> you know, Evan says he's from Hawaii, but he looks like he runs a gator farm with only they, them gators. <laughs> on her wheelchair. <laughs> all right, all right, make fun of disabled when you're one sneeze away from being broken. I felt like I had to bring her up. I mean, my dick put her in the chair. It's crazy because the only thing he's ever built is a court case. <laughs> you know, uh, they say home is where the heart is, which is why Evan only creeps on homeschool kids. <laughs> Vera actually volunteered at the local school as a wrestling coach. That way he can molest kids violently. <laughs> The bear body bear hug. Yeah. Yeah, well, I can't feel it tonight. 
Really nice, Steve A. Brokey. Dude, you look like a cracked out musician who tours the country just kidnapping their own groupies. You know, Evan's victims are the actual Grateful Dead. <laughs> sleep without a noise machine. It just plays NASCAR. <laughs> and, and over that noise, you can still hear him snore the N-word. Cars, but I actually love that Evan has a tattoo of a train on his chest. Yeah. It actually matches the fact that it looks like it fell off of the tracks on his arm. Of course, Bear would never have a tattoo. He's so afraid of needles, he's anti bags Oh, no. Dude, you don't even drink, but you definitely need a tetanus shot. Dude, you like snort gunpowder, all right? That's why my sneeze is on fire! Great battle. Give it up for Bear and for Evan. Man, fucking tough ball here, man. I mean, Bear kept punching at the end. It was fucking, that was a hell of a fight. One more big round of applause. Yeah! I mean, yeah, that was supposed to be a five joke battle, but each of you got like fucking ten laughs. <laughs> and uh, Bear, the train joke, the Grape <laughs> Dead thing, the ill joke. Oh, Evan, the two of you both have so many, the snore joke, Evan, snore joke, the wrestling joke, like so many fucking jokes landed, that was a tough one, but in the end, I scored it uh, five for Evan and four for Bear. Woo! Yeah! 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 All right, well, you know, let's go to Frank, actually. Frank, who'd you like, the half or the McCoy? Uh, well, first off... <laughs> Say battles like this make me fucking fall madly in love with Rose Battle all over again. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Mary, you did a phenomenal job tonight. You look like you you look like someone came in a chewing tobacco game. Uh, Evan Warner, you fucking had jokes on jokes. Uh, the angles were great. The simplicity of some were just so fantastic. Like the fucking noise machine NASCAR one, and then Storm the Edward. It's so so funny. Um, I think we met in Hawaii a few years ago, before, right? And then you moved to LA. Am I correct? No, I just where I saw you in Hawaii. I remember being in Hawaii. Different drug dealer, Frank. Different drug dealer. I've seen you battle a bunch, and I'm a very big fan. And I, you've only gotten better, but fucking, you killed it tonight. So congratulations. Yeah. Um, this was outstanding. This is one of the best battles I've seen in a long, long, long time. You should both go right now. Um, you both look like you spent the last month preparing for this by shooting Bud Light cans in your backyard. that I liked, and I had more probably for this battle than the rest of the night. It was just like, it was unbelievable. My favorite joke, I think, was the, the, the train tattoo with the tracks on the R. That is so yeah. clever and creative yeah. and great. Um, also, Woo. they, them, gators is wild. Yeah. You assign pronouns to your gators, you fucking weirdo. Um, no, no, it's, it was crazy because I was like, he's just talking right now. Yeah. <laughs> and it's like, it's Ancestry.com? I can't believe I've never heard that before. It was great. Evan's jokes were great. Uh, snoring the N-word. Uh, the wrestling coach so we could violently molest. The standout moment of the battle to me, and I don't think you guys realize how hard it is to look like Evan and get up there and just swag on somebody and be like, I fucked your wife and you were here. You weigh 40 
25 pounds. And you're like, my giant dick disabled that man's life. That's fucking insane that you pulled that off. Yeah. Where, where's the voting at? Did you guys... Should I point for Evan? Two for Evan. Two for Evan. Then it, I mean, it doesn't matter for me. Uh, I'll, I'll close it out. I will just say... Outstanding battle and uh, I, I, amazed, blown away. You guys are amazing. Great job. Yeah. I mean, you do have the swagger of Jeffrey Dahmer walking to a gay club in Atlanta. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna eat all these niggas in here. I'm gonna eat all these peaches in here. These look like the two guys in the bar Dahmer decided not to fuck. <laughs> oh, 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 how do guys feel? Oh. He's there the whole time. <laughs> anyway. Else right here. Um, it is crazy how much you guys do look alike. Like, you look like a before and after of someone who quits heroin. <laughs> it starts from that. <laughs> but I think Pat made the best point about roast battle, and it's so great to see fucking fresh, funny people all the time. And you guys killed it tonight. <laughs> oh, thank you. For your winners, Evan Warner! Oh, shit, I just broke it. Good luck on your shows this weekend, buddy. Matt Barker. Thank you, Jeff Ross. Keep going with Jeff Ross, everybody. Love you, guys. Thank you, Moses. Good to see you. 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 Good to